Today we're heading Grandview Island. My very first impression about Grandview Island is that finding a parking space is not easy at all. So you just need to be more patient. If you're planning to join a tour, that is actually a very good idea. The island is not too big. You can definitely go around on foot. This reminds me of San Francisco Pier 39, but we're heading to the public market, which is the main attraction here in Grandview. I enjoy taking pictures of these interesting buildings and arts. We came around lunchtime, so I can easily be distracted by these restaurant signs too. So inside the public market on one side, it is very much like a farmer's market. None of these merchants are allowed to give you any shopping bags, so be prepared to bring your own reusable bag when shopping in Vancouver. You will find various bakeries, cheese, wine. It is like a whole food composed by many small merchants. Rainier cherry is something special here in the Pacific Northwest. Give it a try if you can make up your mind on what to buy. On the other side of the building, you will find the food court sections that was what I had been looking forward to. My personal favorite was the saline fish and chip. If you have a hard time deciding between codfish or halibut, I recommended halibut for its stronger fish taste. My friend also picked up these pizza for us and for the kids. They were so soft and cheesy. Looked at how lucky we were to be able to get seats by this beautiful view. It was a fun afternoon. Les dauphins, le long de cette grève, le sable est si fin sur la plage de la Corniche. By the way, if you're coming with small kids, don't forget to check out this kids market. It is basically a big toy store. They will have a good time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please also check out my video on Whistler. I'll see you there.